Hey everyone, it's Luma and welcome back! So today I'm making my sim self for the save file that I'm creating for the sims 4. Um, yep, and just making myself. Um, I'm not the best at Cass. Um, I'm a lot better, I'm a lot more comfortable at building than I am in create a sim, but I did my best in... I enjoyed myself, I made myself and my three dogs. Loretta is a pitbull mix we're not really sure what else she is because we thought her mom was spayed and then she came back pregnant and she's the puppy that resulted from that um and we adopted her from her previous owner uh theodore is a purebred corgi um he's a rodent and a rat but i love him with all my heart and then it made willie who's a schnoodle and he is um dead uh he died three years ago. I, that was really blunt. I'm sorry. I just, I don't really know how to go about saying that. Um, but I wanted to make him because I love him. And so I did. Um, and I'm also, like I said, I'm not the best at making Sims. Um, I tried to get my face as close as I could to how I look like in real life, but yeah, you know, I kind of gave up and I was just like, meh. I, I don't need to look like 100% alike, you know, but I had fun customizing myself, making my dream self. I don't have a nose piercing, which I do give myself, and I don't have tattoos, but I want both of those things. So, you know, I can dream. Um, I actually might be getting my first tattoo in November, which I'm so excited about. Um, I have to put in my, I don't know if you heard that scream, but if you did, that was my mom and I'm so sorry. Um, but as I was saying, I need to put in my $200 deposit in November, um, but I'm so excited! I just need to wait till I get paid and then I'm gonna do that. Oh my god. I'm basically, um, getting a amethyst geode because the amethyst is my birthstone. An amethyst geode, like, right above my elbow, and it's gonna look like the am the geode. Like, how do, how do I explain this? I had a hard time explaining it to my tattoo artist. I don't know how I'm gonna explain it now, but it's gonna look like it's the geode is like coming out So like my skin is like the outer rock part and that the geode is like inside Does that make sense? I'm not really sure But yeah, I just need to wait till I get paid that I'm gonna make my deposit and I'm so excited I did work a six-hour shift today from 6 a.m. to 12 so I'm getting money, you know, I'm making bank, I'm, oh, I'm so, I love, I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I do work at a dog daycare, and I love my job so much, that's the only thing I would willingly get up at four in the morning for. Um, I usually have to wake up, like, a couple hours before I get up, just to, like, mentally prepare myself, um, but, you know, it was fun, um, one of the asshole cats that were watching likes me now. I felt so honored because I went in there to feed um, the cats and uh, that cat usually hisses and like swipes at you and doesn't let you pet him. But this morning when I opened their little condo, she came up to me and like rubbed all against me and wanted me to pet her. And I like, I didn't cry, but like I cried, you know, like I was so honored. I felt so honored and I was so excited about it too. And, um... Another thing that happened today is this puppy. It's the first dog I ended up taking back to their suite. And he, me and this dog have beef, okay? Um, so he was a puppy. Very much, too much energy for six o'clock in the morning. I'll say that. And so I take him to his suite. I put him inside. As I'm trying to get out, he escapes. I go and bring him back. As I try to get out, he escapes again. And I'm irritated. So I finally get out and he's in there and I, he didn't escape this time because the smaller dogs have such easier time escaping since they managed to slip between your legs. Um, and, but I had to go get him water because he didn't have one of the automated water thingies in his suite that most other suites have. So I had to go get him a water bowl and I was trying to avoid letting him escape again and I didn't push the bowl far enough back into his suite and he spilled it and it got all over the hallway of the um, of the wing and it was annoying and it was a whole ordeal and I had to clean it up and while I was trying to you know pick up his water bowl to prevent it from spilling more he escaped again 
So I kind of gave up with giving him water um, and just cleaned up the mess. I let like another more experienced person, more experienced associate, I guess what they're called or we're called, not them. I am one. I am them. Um, but I had a more experienced associate deal with that because my brain was moving 10 times slower than it normally does. And I was like, <laughs> I was like <laughs> so frustrated. <laughs> um, and then later in the day, um, when I was supervising a play group, that dog was in the play group and I was like, mm -hmm. I have beef with this dog, but you are also so very cute. So it, the anger did not last long. Um, he was such a sweetheart. He has sharp teeth though. Like he wasn't biting me aggressively. He was like a puppy and he's teething. So whenever like you'd pet him, he'd kind of just ong, do a little light chomp, but it wasn't light because his teeth are sharp. Puppy teeth are the sharpest teeth ever. But yeah, we're coming up on the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching and listening to me ramble about my job. I love it so much. I'm having so much fun. I love it so much more than my old job at a restaurant. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.